Welcome to the training video on the basics of proper specimen preparation for BDMAX enteric viral panel performed on the BDMAX system. The BDMAX system offers you a simplified and automated workflow, allowing you to run up to 24 samples at a time with less than one and a half minutes hands-on time per sample. You can get 24 patient results in about three hours with the BDMAX Enteric Viral Panel. The BDMAX Enteric Viral Panel detects nucleic acid from five important diarrhea-causing viruses, norovirus G1 and G2, rotavirus A, adenovirus F40 and 41, sapovirus, genogroups 1, 2, 4, and 5, and human astrovirus. For additional instructions and information, always refer to the BDMAX system user's manual and the assay-specific instructions for use. Let's get started. The BDMAX enteric viral panels require stool to be collected from patients and transported to the laboratory as unpreserved specimen or as specimen preserved in Cary Blair transport media. The specimen is inoculated into a sample buffer tube, which is then vortexed and transferred to the BDMAX system rack. The BDMAX system is loaded with the BDMAX racks containing the prepared sample buffer tubes and assembled unitized reagent strips, and the PCR cartridge. The BDMAX system automates sample extraction, nucleic acid amplification, and detection of the target nucleic acid using real-time polymerase chain reaction, PCR. For a full list of equipment and materials required but not provided, please refer to the package insert. The performance and accuracy of BDMAX assays require that specimens and components are stored in a safe and stable environment. In order to obtain an adequate specimen, the procedure for specimen collection must be followed closely. For unpreserved specimens, transfer the liquid or soft stool specimen to a dry, clean container. Avoid contamination with water or urine, and avoid mixing toilet paper or soap with the specimen. Label the container and transport to the laboratory according to institutional standard operating procedures. For Cary Blair preserved specimens, Transfer the liquid or soft stool specimen to a 15 milliliter transport device according to the manufacturer's instructions. Avoid contamination with water or urine and avoid mixing toilet paper or soap with the specimen. Label the container and transport to the laboratory according to institutional standard operating procedures. To prepare the sample, follow these steps. First step, label a barcoded BDMAX sample buffer tube with the appropriate specimen identification. Be careful not to obscure, write, or label over the 2D barcode. Second step, vortex the unpreserved or Cary Blair preserved specimens at high speed for 15 seconds. Third step, uncap the sample buffer tube and inoculate as follows. Insert a disposable inoculation loop provided within the kit until the entire loop portion is submerged in the specimen. Do not insert beyond the loop as any additional stool on the shaft can overload the PCR reaction. Then, insert the loaded loop into the sample buffer tube and express the specimen using a swirling motion. Please note, it's not necessary to remove the entire specimen from the loop. The solution in the sample buffer tube should appear tea-stained in color. Fourth step, recap the inoculated sample buffer tube using a septum cap. Fifth step, 
Place the sample buffer tube in a rack compatible with a multi-tube vortex mixer, if available, for example, a cryogenic vial holder or equivalent. Sixth step, prepare any additional specimens for testing by repeating steps one through five. Make sure your gloves are clean before handling additional specimens. Seventh step, vortex all prepared sample buffer tubes simultaneously at maximum speed for one minute with the multi-tube vortex mixer. Now proceed to the BDMAX system operations section in the assay specific instructions for use to perform testing on the BDMAX system. We hope this program has helped familiarize you with the proper specimen preparation of the BDMAX enteric viral panel on the BDMAX system. If you have any additional questions, please consult the instructions for use, user's manuals, or your BD representative.